good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. It is Poonjiki Day or Fat Tuesday. And so we've got some pastries to start our day. We've got strawberry and an assorted pack. They're $5 a pack, which is not bad. From our local jewel. This is this? <laughs> all of these, all of these poonchkis. And Jamesy needed the cantaloupe cut up. All right, so the boys are just playing. Peter has a decent amount of meetings this week. He is going to Texas on Friday with ACS. And so with the holiday yesterday and Friday, his week is pretty <laughs> slim. What's going on over there? Hold on. Just some enthusiastic <laughs> cookie baking. Um, I just got a call from the center that I had my procedure at yesterday. If you didn't know, I had an endoscopy and a colonoscopy. I feel like I always say those wrong. But anywho, um, they were just following up with how I was feeling. I'm still having a little discomfort swallowing, um, but they just said to drink some tea. It's normal. Should resolve in like, the next day or two. So it was so nice. I felt really well taken care of there. And so if you're interested in getting a procedure like that done in Chicago, let me know. It's in Lincoln Park. Um, so yeah, we're just we're just taking it easy. The sun is shining. Evie girl's on the prowl. We had a little bit of a chaotic weekend with like the sickness, like going straight from like the Valentine's Day into this other bug and now the boys are just like coffee and icky um and so we're just gonna take it easy well, i'm done with work for the day a very busy day even busier day tomorrow I guess that's what happens when you're off monday and then you're taking friday off as well so i'm just building a track teddy's causing chaos as i build these little What's wrong? Oh, you're having trouble? Okay, we're gonna go help you, all together. Do some reconfigure, we're gonna push it this way some. So today was a crazy busy day at work, and early too. It, um, we had a big long meeting with, with people from my department and another department who don't realize that we've got, not just myself, but a few people who live in the central time zone. And so nothing like coming back from a three day long weekend to an early, early meeting because they set it for like the earliest Eastern time and we're in the center time. So it was early start and it was a busy day. Something awesome that happened today though is we found a moving company. We got a quote back from one company and they wanted like $9,000. I exaggerated, I think it was $7,000 to move our stuff down to Florida. We found another one that's more reasonable. So right now the plan will be this move, we'll box up everything, get it all set. The moving company will take it, put it in the truck, drive the truck down and unload it. And we will all drive together in the minivan. Sound fun? Oh, he's a big kid. So another huge, those are probably the two most stressful things to me about this move is getting someplace to stay and we've got that secure and then the means to transport down. And that's secure. We might have to like figure out some fine print about like, we might get a small trailer that the minivan can pull to bring our beds. What's up? <laughs> okay, well, let's go play. I think you can tell that the Peloton has not been used lately. And so let's start that accountability page. So Peter's work date is done. We're all a little run ragged today, to be honest. And so I'm like, I'm gonna get on the Peloton and it'll make me feel good. Um, but anyways, I had talked about doing like a 30 day challenge and I don't wanna just be like, let's start today. So let's, talk about I'm gonna do it in a private Facebook group that's what I decided and I want to be like let's start ASAP I, I'm just I'll come up with a day soon I don't think it's gonna be March 1st but it's gonna be soon but not today so get ready for that I will get that situated within the next couple of days um, like I said I'm gonna hop on the Peloton um, 
and try to like reset my gusto for the night. Okay, let's see what I can find from Robin today. Also, if you did not know, you can always look like what music is being featured um, before you do your rap. Usually I do like to be surprised, but it is nice to sometimes know like what vibe you're feeling. Okay, so I changed my mind after seeing that playlist. I'm gonna do a 20 minute 80s ride. Mama of the Peloton, Teddy snoozing. James is eating some fruit. And we're showing him some 30 days, 30 stays. Bucket list family staying at Disneyland. How fun would it be? I wonder if, how much that would cost. I'm gonna price that out one day soon. But if we did 30 days, 30 stays, how much would that be? It'd be so much fun. I also feel like part of it, like not having it done through Disney like this with guest services, would be could be like slightly frustrating if like you would want early check in every single day. I was saying if we should we should price out thirty days, thirty stays. Oh yeah. But a lot of avocado toast. Sure, for dinner. With the orzo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll make it. Now. Thanks. So I have the P.S. I Love You soundtrack on, and it's one of my favorite movies ever, and every song makes me emotional. Um, but here is the guac, or the avocado for the toast. It's just avocado, lime juice, salt, pepper, garlic, and some cumin. I'm gonna heat up some Earth Balance butter and like fry up some toast instead of using the toaster to get it nice and buttery, and put some garlic on there. And this is the, the bread we'll be using from Trader Joe's, the ancient grain and seed bread. Hearty texture, robust flavor. So it's getting fancy with the way she's making toast. Mm-hmm. It's a little different. Yeah, smells good. Buttery garlic bread. Just, all right, here's James's plate. Got some cucumbers chopped up, avocado toast, and some leftover orzo. Oh, I need to tap ours. What is it going to top with? I'm going to put a little bit of red wine vinegar on it and then the everything bagel seasoning. And then we'll each get some more. So. Perfect. There's garlic dip from Trader Joe's on there. The buttery garlic bread. Avocado concoction. And then cooks. Great. That smells delicious. Thank you. Okay, so this is Disney Trivia. Yay. We're raising money for the American Cancer Society because I'm running the New York City half. So if anybody We're doesn't know do what it's called, I moved back to New York. Half and, Marathon Disney um, Trivia I'm Fundraiser. It's like a nice, like, welcome back to New York Ooh. thing. Except I have been. <laughs> what are you measuring? Are you tall enough for Barnstormer? Is that Will playing? Yeah. Which is the saddest wow. song. <laughs> Jenna's boyfriend Will is playing the piano in term during intermittent waiting. I'm stressed, <laughs> guys. There's so this number was all about Disney math. So here's an example of a question: the number of Dalmatians plus Meredith Blake's age in the Parent Trap. And that's something I should know, and I think I know, but I'm I'm hopeful. Oh my gosh, that one comes down to me. I'm, I'm sorry if it's wrong. Okay. I think she's 26. Voice is Donny Osmond. Ah! Uh, uh, the chaos ensuing behind the scenes of Peter. <laughs> oh shoot, we got that one wrong. Peter like looks calm, cool, and collected. I think he was like, "This silly business is happening over here." Oh, don't look at that diaper. Evie, what are you doing lurking in the shadows? One of the cutest things that Evie does is she'll bring a single piece of food from her bowl like into any other room and eat like one piece of food at a time or she'll like come and bring it to you like kind of like, do you want this? And it's so stinking cute. Sure. <sighs> Excuse me, I am tired. I just finished editing. Um, and it actually isn't a two-parter. We have been talking about just like the channel and like going to Florida and how things are going to be changing. Um, and just like, it'll just be a totally different lifestyle being down there again. And now with the two boys, um, we're really, really excited. And we're really, really excited to like be in both places. Obviously that's what we want to do. That's what we're going to accomplish. Um, but just the anticipation every time of like coming back, um, 
and I don't know it's it's just gonna be a really unique and fun time but that will also you know reflect in the vlog we're gonna be the same real carts we always are but just our routine <laughs> we have been really liking this routine and we think we really need to stick to it with the kids um but also know that we're going to be like in the park some nights until later and the kids might fall asleep on the car ride home instead of it being at home and like I don't know we're just gonna have to figure out a new swing of things but part of that is that two-parters do take longer to edit and even though it's nice sometimes to not edit at all some days the relief of editing like a smaller single day vlog um, will probably like be more of our track when we're back in Florida. What are you so jazzed about? I didn't think I was going to do anything and then I did a, like two things. That feels good, yeah, right? Thanks. Yeah. Um, our neighbors are kind of like, I don't know, I can't tell if they're making music or if they're just playing music. The ones upstairs? Yeah. I think they do both, but I have not heard what you're hearing, so. Oh, gotcha. Like, I know I kinda one like of it. them, I know one of them makes music. Yeah. I just don't know if that's what you're hearing now, if they're just jamming. Mm-hmm. The city's so alive. <laughs> you wanna sign off? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. It was a pretty chill vlog. We had not found, like, our AirPods had been lost for, like, a week, and we found them today, so we're very happy. And I want to go to the Adler Planetarium tomorrow night. They're free. To, Wednesdays, oh. Wednesday nights are free for Illinois residents. Oh. So maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. Maybe. It's still good to be home. <laughs> I'm still upset we lost trivia. <laughs> we didn't even say that we got second place. And there was a category of scientists, and we were just like... Mm. We when we stumped. when we saw, when we saw the answers, we were like, "Duh!" Um, but anywho, we're still getting a candle. It's yeah. still a prize. Yeah. We got second place, and yeah. if, if and we got we lost to like a team of former Disney College program. They did the DCP the same time we did. Yeah. So, so if we were gonna lose to anybody, they're smarter than us. <laughs> probably. It's good to be home. It's good to be home for like the fourth time. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>